right guys do i have a story about this royal so i i'll talk about the machine first and then give you guys the option to listen to my spiel at the end of the video which honestly might be the halfway point i'm not sure but i already tried making this video once and realized that i didn't really show much of the vacuum i this was the angle for pretty much nine minutes and i was just kind of telling my story so this is a royal 9089 and I didn't realize until just standing here a few minutes ago that it even says 1989 on the machine. So this, not only does the bag confirm that it's a 1989, the um, label itself also confirms it, which is pretty worn. And I'm surprised by that because, um, you know, usually the nameplates on these don't wear off from... Uh, movement or rubbing because they're pretty protected between the bell and the motor. Um, so <clears throat> this machine, from what I was told, is one of the top of the line vacuums in the Royal lineup for this time period. I love the fact that I own a piece of this awesome history. This vacuum cleaner is like 33 years old. 1989 to 99 is 10 years. Another 10 would be 2009. Another 10 would be 19 or 2019. Um, so, and then add an extra three years because we're in 2022. So this is a 33 year old vacuum cleaner. It is considerably older than I am. And this vacuum cleaner, I thought when I ordered it would be a 9700. I already have a 9089 that I purchased on eBay about a week and a half ago, and I knew it was a 9089. They posted it. I believe it's in a bit better shape than this one, and it's at my friend's house. I shipped it to his house because I didn't need anybody giving me a hard time here that I had another box, so, and then they didn't even know it was inside, which would have probably pissed him off even more. So, <clears throat> During this time, I believe this was the first model ever on any Royal to show the light indicator here. They call it the um, brush roll, the BSI brush roll speed indicator. It does have the um, cool infinite um, height adjustment, which is a nice upgrade woo, to um, the model that I had the 8200, which I no longer own. I really think that the aluminum or the, it could be polished back up to look good. A collector in Connecticut, I've seen a video of his Royals in the past with this type of design and he calls them jazzy wheels. And it also has the oil port on the back. This is a six amp motor. Most of the people who would know anything about these Royals would know that um, pre a certain year, which this falls in, has an oil port. <clears throat> it does need a new bulb, as it doesn't have one. I think the scent thing's missing, but you can see it definitely needs some TLC. One question I would like to ask is this cord here, the wire, is black. But back here, it's red. I'm assuming that uh, that the, the power cord and the um, headlight are just those color wires. But I was curious to know if anybody knew if the headlight wire at a, is supposed to be supposed to be black or if it is supposed to be red to match the cord itself, which is in good shape. There's no splits in it. There's no. Um, <coughs> what do I want to call it? No splits, no um, gouges or chunks missing from it. There's no electrical tape. Um, <clears throat> I would say this thing is used, but not abused. It definitely needs to be revived. And I think that it deserves to be. <coughs> Excuse me. I just drank some iced coffee and now I've got phlegm. But the bag is in extremely good condition. Um, this is just some dirt, I think, here. The only spot that shows slight wear is this right here. And even, it's not even really white in person. It's more of like a pink-red color. But usually here on the side, there would be extremely bad wear marks on the, the bag, and there isn't. So I'm pretty happy with 
the condition that it's in. I'm going to try and polish it. I did order a brush roll for it. I've got bags, but I think it's going to need to be taken apart and just cleaned out. <clears throat> it does run very well. Um, it needs a new belt, so it, the brush will spin when the nozzle isn't touching anything, but it stops pretty quickly. I'm sure that this machine hasn't been used in decades. Now, um, <clears throat> the seller, here's where the story comes in. I ordered this from Facebook Marketplace. And the seller was pretty responsive once I had ordered the item, but I had asked, do you know the amps on this machine? Because I wanted to be able to dictate what model Royal this was because they've only made a few, I believe three, with the jazzy wheels on it. So, and with the brush roll speed indicator, you know, but I couldn't really see that in the photos. So I was like, this isn't a 4,000 because I didn't want one of those. It's got to be a 9700. For some reason, I was convinced that this was a 9700. And I knew that the 9089 existed because I had one coming, but for some reason, this one just looked newer. So she sent me a picture of this side plate here, which does not tell me anything. And I said, there's a plate underneath the machine. And she said, there's not, or this is the only thing on the machine. And I sent her a reference photo. She um, so she could see where the nameplate on the machine would be, and she didn't say a word. She read it, didn't respond. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll buy it then. So I bought it. <clears throat> and shipping was $22. I thought that was very reasonable. Probably the cheapest shipping besides free that I've ever paid on a vacuum. So she's, I said to her, nice doing business with you. And she said, you too. And I'm like, all right, well, so now we wait. So she me email or messages me back uh, later on in the evening and says, so there's no way that they're going to take this priority shipping. I put it in to be priority and I, before I had done this and I didn't realize that there's just no way that they will take this as priority mail. And I'm like, great. So <clears throat> isn't that lovely? So she said, I'll have to um, probably cancel the order unless um, you want me to try and see what other options there are through um, Marketplace. I've never had this issue before. And I said, yeah, you know, let's see what they say. Let's go about it like that. So she <clears throat> decided to take it to UPS and she was told that it was going to cost $85 to ship it. And... Um, with the size that it is. And I said, did you try taking it apart? The handle all comes apart. And you saw the photo that I posted for reference, if anybody wants to go see, of the box that she put it in and the handle sticking out the top, probably from the cord release up. And she said, we tried, um, we couldn't get it. Uh, we just, it's already packaged. And I'm thinking to myself, no, you didn't. You didn't try. You didn't even bother taking it apart. You shoved it in a box because it was easier. And I didn't say that to her, though. And she's like, so I would have paid, you know, maybe $20 extra just so you could get the item and ship it to you. But I can't um, basically not make money on this vacuum. And I'm like, okay, okay. She said, the only other options are to cancel or to meet. And I said, all right, well, let's look into meeting then. And I found out that, you know, it was a couple hours away from my house. I would say probably two and a half. So she came up with an area to meet. And I said, that's not a halfway point. Because she had said, oh, this looks like it's halfway. And I'm like, that's not halfway. She's like, I'll be there, though, um, <clears throat> next Monday. And I'm like... Okay. And I told her, you know, I work, you know, I don't, I have that day off. So it was a constant back and forth between that. And essentially she didn't want to drive any further than a half an hour from her house. She didn't say it, but she wasn't going to drive any further away. She didn't try to come up with something easier. And every time she gave me a location, it was because she was going to be there already doing something else. And she straight up told me that. 
And I'm thinking to myself, okay, great. So she hasn't mentioned a word about comping me or refunding me, at least for the shipping. And so she pocketed that. And um, <clears throat> I was pretty irritated. So I just, I got out um, a few days ago. I got out in the morning. I work 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. at the hospital that I'm working at now. <clears throat> I get home. I'm tired. And she messages me and says, hey, what do you think about meeting today? And I said, well, I'm snowed in because we had just gotten a bad snowstorm. I'm like, I'm snowed in. And she's just like, well, what about tomorrow? And I was like, yeah, I can meet early tomorrow. And she said, how does 4 p.m. sound? And I'm like, of course, I'm, I'm going to see a, a house I'm looking at buying at 4 p.m. specifically in my town. <clears throat> And I said to her, I, I can't. She said, well, what about next Monday? And I said, I work next Monday. And she says, maybe we should just cancel the item. And I'm like, you know what? Let's meet today then. I will drive all the way down there. I didn't tell her on no sleep, but I'm like, let's just meet today. And she's like, are you sure we can always meet sometimes next week? And I was like, nope, I think it's just best if this is just finished. Let's just meet today. Where do you want to meet? What time? And I, um, I said, or she, she told me the location. I said, how does 1030 sound? Cause this was like 830 in the morning. And she goes, um, how about noon since you um, will need to shovel yourself out? And I'm like, great, even better. I won't get any sleep at all. So <laughs> she was a real treat. Really. I get down there. She was quite a a slice of pie and I she was nice but she didn't say a word to me about you know giving me back at least my shipping and you know do I really care I care for the sake of people having um not morals but um people just being raised the right way to think that, you know, they should offer something. And, you know, I would have said, no, no, it's fine. For real, I would have said, no, it's okay. Um, because I'm not going to make it awkward. I don't like taking money from people. But all I could think to myself was she didn't offer any, just, just for the sake of offering, just to be polite, didn't say a word. And I drove down there, used three quarters of a tank of gas drove an hour and 45 minutes in one direction to get there. And, you know, I did all the work and it was really her fault from the beginning. So um, just laziness, people trying to make a quick buck off of something. And I mean, you get involved with people selling stuff that they don't even know what they have. Not saying that this is a, a real gem in general, like you're not going to take it to a pawn shop and find out it's worth $5,000. But um, people can be really um, selfish sometimes and they don't put any work into trying to obtain that money. So that's just kind of my spiel. I'm hoping to get this thing um, running soon. I'll plug it in quick so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Um, it does run very well and it's got a nice tone to it. There she be. Again, I can't really lower the brush roll because it just makes the belt burn. So that is the Royal 9089. I'm going to clean it up, give it a good washing and clean the bag. Um, I really would like to figure out if there's a way to make this thing accept B bags. I really don't think that there is, but it would be really nice. But thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think.